So number seven then from the 2022 National Five Paper 2. Four mark question. Solve this quadratic equation. Given your answer correct to two significant figures. Well, it's just formula and it's there at the front if you don't remember it. Formula, figures, press the button, answer, four marks. So first step, formula. Well, the solution x will be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. The content of that square root being the discriminant, the one that determines the nature of the answers to this, whether they're there or not, real or not, equal or not, over 2a. Now, you don't get any marks for doing that because you just copied that from the front. Now, identifying the parts. Well, a is the coefficient of the x squared term, so that's a 4. B is the coefficient of the x term, so that's a 2, and C is the constant on its own, so C is a negative 7. Now feed it in. You don't need to write that down to the side, I've just put it down there just to just keep yourself straight, because you could just read it straight off of here. So the negative of B, that's negative 2, plus or minus the square root of B again, but this time it's a 2, I think I'll put them all into little placeholders. 2 squared minus 4 times A is 4, and C is negative 7. Of course, you didn't really need those brackets. You do need it here for this negative 7, though. And then all over. Don't forget the all over. Don't just put it underneath the square root. It's all divided by the whole of that top calculation divided by 2 times. I'll put the 4 in that way as well. Now, just put the figures in. That gets the first mark. Now, the next part. At that point, you could just press all the buttons in your calculator and get your two answers. However, usually you would get this discriminant first. I'm just going to call it D here. This part here, which would be 4, 2 squared is 4, minus, minus, plus, and then you've got 4 times 4 times 7. I'll call that 4 times 28, I think. That makes that easier to work out. So that's going to be, oh, that's like 429s, which is 4 less than 430s, which is 120. That's 116. But you can just press the buttons in your calculator. So you don't need to write this particular line down. I think they sort of expect you to do it, and I like to do it anyway, just so you can see all the parts clearly over 8. Now, getting that discriminant's worth a mark. If you didn't show that, and you had the correct answers, you would still get it, because it would have been implied in getting the rest of the answers. But really, you should put this bit down. Now, you don't need to put the next part down at all. I'm just going to split this up to show the two parts. So the two answers would be negative 2, one with plus, one with minus. I'm going to put the minus first, because that will give the smaller answer. Or negative 2 plus root 116 over 8. Now, that's not worth a mark. Now, there'll be a mark for the next part, because what you should do next is put that into your calculator and write down the unrounded answer before you finally write down the rounded off answers. So working out the first one, and then we don't want that, of course, so we just change it to a decimal, We're not looking for exact values. Negative 1.5962, and so on. But that's not rounded off properly to four places. That's just what was on the calculator without bothering to write the rest of it. I've just put sufficient down more than I needed. And then using this one, just go back up to the original calculation and go in and change that top number, chop that, change that top sign into a plus. Again, I don't want that. And that gives you 1.09629 and so on. Doing that gets a mark, pressing the buttons in the calculator, and then finally round them off the way that they wanted. So that would be two significant figures. Well, that'll be the 1 and the 5. There's a 9 next, so that'll go to negative 1.6. And that's a 1 and a 0, and that 9 makes it into a 1.1 the final mark. So that was straightforward for four marks. Again, you wouldn't show this line here. I've just put that in for emphasis to show the, the two routes to the answer. And then again, even this line was optional because once you've got this line, you could just press the buttons and get one answer and then press the buttons and get the other answer. But you should really put down the unrounded values first and then round it off appropriately. Number eight then, for four marks, circle. Calculation in a circle here, 
as soon as it involves a chord, you know you're going to be looking for a right angle triangle. There'll be some calculation here. What does it say? A train tunnel's got this circular cross section, obviously with the horizontal floor. We'll roll about. And you have to calculate the overall height of this, given that the radius of that circle is 2.9, and that that chord, the base of it, is 4 metres. Well, the way you do that is you form a triangle. It's really always that. If you want to carry out calculations, you find triangles to enable you to do a calculation. So drop a perpendicular onto that chord. If you drop a perpendicular onto it, it will bisect it. That's the connection you're looking for. The radius bisects a chord at right angles, which means if it's four altogether, this part's two. And that's the triangle you're going to use in the calculation. You can use this right angle triangle, since you know two of the three sides, to work out its height, and then add on the radius to get the overall height. So if I give that part a name, I'll just call that X, for instance, just now. Then I've got that side is two, so my first part would be, well, I can work out X, since I've specified it in my diagram here. That will be the 2.9 squared minus the two squared. Now, X isn't the largest side in this. 2.9 is the largest one, so everything else will have to be less than it. So that's why you've got the subtract. Now, you could work those out separately, or you could go straight in with, so x will be the square root of 2.9 squared minus 2 squared, and get the answer in one go. So typing that in gives you the answer 2.1, which is exact and doesn't need rounding off. That's because there was a an exact Pythagorean triple here. Just one of the ones you're, you're not really used to. You're only used to the 3, 4, 5 and the 5, 12, 13, but there's plenty of them. That's the 20, 21, 29. Notice it's a tenth of the 20. A tenth of the 29, that'll be a tenth of the 21, 2.1. But anyway, there's already three marks. There was one mark for realising that you're going to form a right angle triangle and getting the size of it, knowing that that's a 2 because you've bisected the chord. So that was one mark. There was another mark for using Pythagoras properly. In other words, subtracting the squares of those two in order to get this height. And then there was another mark just for getting that answer. Now that just leaves one more mark for getting the overall height. Because the overall height will be, well, it was 2.1 up to the centre. And from the centre to the top is another lot of the radius, another lot of two, another lot of 2.9 the radius. Well, that makes exactly five, five metres. Well, I say 5.0, 5.0 metres. Putting down five is good enough for the final mark.